Hey guys, it's Jag. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. Last time we awakened the Master Sword. Look how beautiful it is. It's so glowy and shiny and it's just all around awesome. Can't believe that we used to think that, you know, the piece of junk that it used to be was the actual Master Sword. This looks at least 10 times better. But we were informed that Ganon has not been seen above the seas. So the only place he could be is below the seas. And to do that, we need the shards of the Triforce of Courage. It's t finally time to start gathering those up. And I kind of have an idea where the first place that I want to look is. Let's open up the incredible chart. Should be right here. Now, one of the shards is clearly in that top corner, but um, down there on the fifth column from the left, that appears to be the location of Link's Oasis. So why don't we go check that out? What better place to start gathering the shards of the Triforce of Courage than, you know, in our little vacation home? All right, we're gonna warp to the Tower of the Gods and sail directly south. We're gonna have a lot of tasks to do to get all of the shards of the Triforce. While it seems on the surface that it's gonna be a fairly simple, straightforward quest, it's actually not. We're not gonna be going doing anything like going into any big dramatic dungeons, but all of them have their own unique puzzles to solve and one in particular we're really 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 gonna have to be prepared to fight for so those of you who have played this game might know what I'm talking about those of you who have played Zelda's like um hmm Twilight Princess or um A Link Between Worlds or, you know, Paper Mario with the Thousand Year Door might have some semblance of what we're going to have to do. And if you don't, you know what? Spend some time thinking about what those particular titles have in common and why I might be mentioning them all together. Especially something like the Thousand Year Door, which is clearly not a Zelda game. And you might come to the conclusion of what we're going to have to do. In fact, it's probably going to take maybe two, maybe three episodes on its own just to complete. But that's not going to be for a little while, although I have been really excited to, to do it. Now, how are we going to do this? We need to get beyond the fire. But we need the ability to do that. Oh, actually, I have an idea. It's a very simple idea. I thought... I needed, you know, um, I thought I needed the ice arrows, but we can't fire those indoors, of course. So why don't we just try, you know, water and we have a source of water right outside. So at least we don't have to go very far. Yep. Been a while since we've had to use a bottle of water for anything. You'd be forgiven if uh, you might not think of this right away. And I hope that you would be, because I sure didn't. All right, can I use water to put out the fire? Will the game let nature take its course? I can use it indoors, that's a start. Yay, I set myself on fire and I did it again, because Link moves way too fast. Okay, that was not apparently close enough. Or I'm barking up the wrong tree on this. So my first two ideas have uh, been a flop. Can't use ice arrows. Maybe you can't use water. This means there must be something in the room that is a switch of some sort. If this doesn't work, I'm going to get a little bit closer just to make sure that it's not. Uh, there may be something in the room that's a switch of some sort to turn it off. I really, really hope it's not the damn puzzles. 
Please don't be the sliding puzzles. That would be amazingly bad. All right, creep a little closer. Directly on the flames. No effect. Okay. Also, the camera screwed up. So let's see here. What else do we have in here? Ah, well, that just, you know, completely clinches it, doesn't it? The giant swinging switch hanging from the ceiling. Haven't seen one of these in forever. So I was completely overthinking it. Good to know. And we have a nice hidden little dungeon here down in the sewer systems. It's kind of a maze. Mostly filled with rats. So be prepared to smack the crap out of some rats and solve some puzzles with all of your items. You should have every item you need to solve the puzzles at this point in the game and be able to get, you know, all of the items out of here. Because there's not, if I remember right, there's not just, um, there's not just the Triforce Shard down here. Oh man, we haven't gone through these little maze holes in forever. I remember how to do it, there we go. Am I going to have to pay attention to getting dumped in the water again? I bet I do. That just seems like the thing it would make you have to deal with. Or maybe, you know, you just have to remember which way you go in these mazes. And I don't. I've never done this. Oh, we made it to something. Made it to a money room. I'll take it. I, you know, I've been thinking about it. Put your stuff away. Um, I'm starting to really doubt that we're going to spend as much at Tangles as I was afraid we were going to. I know that we were going to spend a lot, but I think I was exaggerating it or misremembering it. I don't think it's going to be 15,000 rupees. I don't even know there's if there's that many rupees in the game without heavily farming them. But I don't know how many rupees we are going to need. Okay. It looks like I actually made it to some point. This is really going to throw me. I'm not going to lie. Going above, solving a maze above and below ground. That's really going to screw with my sense of direction. I'm, which is probably intended. I'm not sure that I appreciate it. Regular viewers of the channel will know that I don't actually like creepy underground rooms like this at all. Alright, where's this one going? Maybe, hopefully, all of these little mazes are just connected to themselves and not actually connected to each other. I'd really appreciate that. Also, this one seems to go one direction. Hey! You got an orange rupee? Just one of these is worth a hundred rupees. My face is beaming. Outstanding. Okay. So there is money down here. Money is always good. All right. I do know that there is a few things. I mentioned that there is only one mini game that we haven't done yet, and that was the boat mini game. I do know that we still haven't done the. Uh, I haven't gone back to do the letters mini game from all those episodes ago. I've just let that one completely slide. I will be doing that, probably not in this recording session, but I will try to start the next episode with getting the 25 letters in place, because that does have a piece of heart, and we're going to need that. So between episodes, I'm going to have to do some more things like, you know, um, get some more figurines and probably do that particular mini game. Also work on Beatles Gold membership. There's still a few things that we're gonna have to do that are side quest E in nature. But you know, we are really running out of things to do. I mean the Triforce charts is literally the last major objective. 
Everything else is just preparing for Ganon and getting more pieces of heart so that we... Redeads! 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 Nice that steal money, but mostly redeads. Oh my god. Please, please do not hump my face. Do not hump my face. I don't want my face to be humped. Master Sword, I love you. But yeah, like everything that we've got to do at this point, we basically have eight more pieces of heart to find, some of which we should be getting as part of our Triforce search. Um, I know at least two that we will. One is obviously in the minigame, one is Beetle, and then I'm going to start have to cross-reference um, the Island Hearts chart with the pieces of heart that we've already gotten. Uh, for example, I'm pretty sure there are no more pieces of heart to get on Windfall Island. In fact, once you get to this point in the game, um, there ain't no more auctions in Windfall Island. It's not like it's a repeated thing. Alright. So this looks familiar. We've seen this crest before. The Triforce glows, the chest appears. And we get our first Triforce Shard. You need seven more shards to form a complete piece of the Triforce. Also, that spacing is really weird. Between the top and the bottom of the sentence, feels like, you know, that's a, feels like they just cut something out there. But now we have our first Triforce, sh Triforce Shard, and that's where we're tracking it right down there. Now, I want to take a look at something on the map. I've, I could have sworn that there was a piece of heart in here as well. Maybe I was just thinking about the orange rupee? Yeah, no, I was apparently thinking about the orange rupee. There is a piece of heart next to us. What island is this? Oh, bomb, uh, wait, there's a piece of heart on bomb island? Or is that from the... was that from the treasure chest? Hard to remember. Okay, but at least I know that there's not one here. And we should be able to just clear out now that we got the giant orange rupee and... Most importantly, our first Triforce shard. Which is really cool. I do like the fact that there's one hidden below this island that you have to buy. And now, you know, unless you actually... Oh yeah, I did say I was going to look up a solution for those sliding puzzles, right? I don't know that I'm still going to do that. I'm going to have to think about that. I might. I mean, that just might be like a quick little mini episode just to show them all off. Like a zero commentary. You know, here's what they all look like thing. We'll see. That's certainly not going to be a well. And I'm certainly not going to do it myself because I hate sliding puzzles. Okay. Uh, well... That's our first one. Now I think I want to go to Diamond Step Isle. And we're going to go solve that, baby. Where is it? Now that we have the hook shot. Cause, uh, all right, there it is. Because uh, I really want to get that chart of the ghost ship. We've seen the ghost ship so many times. I actually want to go ahead and get the item we need to make it solid so that we can, you know, actually do it. It's been such a tease and I want to go do it. And by the time, by the way, when I say we've seen it so many times, I mean, we've seen it exactly once, but we've heard about it quite a lot. All right. Um, I want to go a little bit more northerly and book it. Fact is that I do love how you can see the islands from so far away on the Great Sea. Is that it over there? There's a distinct possibility that it probably is. 
Let's just go ahead and get the hook shot ready just so I am set to go with that. Hook, hook, hook shot. Ah, uh, the Master Sword looks so cool. Out of all the of the designs of the Master Sword, I really do like Wind Wakers. I don't know if it was actually ever manufactured as merchandise. I think most of them um, are either versions like Twilight Princess or obviously Ocarina of Time, but I really do like Wind Waker's design a lot. It's so simple and it is cartoony, but oh, but it's kind of amazing and uh, cool looking despite that. It actually kind of looks like a lightsaber. You are just an 8i Octo that I actually was not expecting to run into. I did see the seagulls, but I wasn't thinking about it. Fortunately, you should be easy mode for us with all of our experience of fighting Octos with more eyes than you got. A couple more hits and actually some of your eyes should be done. I think that's one, yeah. There's an eye that's done. So, I said that these give you silver rupees. Um, they don't. They give you orange rupees. In fact, I realized that when I went to go back to look at some old recordings. We fished up an orange rupee from this, from the 8-eye guy that we fought before. Not a silver one. So, you know, it's a little bit less money, but it's okay. He did. That was easy. Now, how many times is it going to take for me to get this ring of light? That's a good question. Alright, there's no real landmark watermark. Yeah, I knew that was going to be way too fast. It's okay, I can line up a little bit more and kind of drift there. Right about here. Actually, we drifted past it a little bit, I think, but we still got it. Yep, orange rupee. One of these is worth 100 rupees. My face is beaming. We're going to have to get some charts, because, um, between Beetle and, and, um, Tingle, we need to spend some money. Am I still headed the right direction now? No, actually, I am headed exactly the wrong direction. I am headed 180 degrees the wrong direction. Kind of amazing. Here we go. Diamond Steps. I am back for vengeance and your goodies. Hey, Mattfish, you're useless to me now. I actually did not mean to fire it, and actually I'm not close enough. Right here. Park it, and I will be back, Boat Daddy. Are you not gonna sparkle? Okay, I should be close enough if I can just latch on. No, not close enough. Just ease it in. How about now? There we go. Alright, bye boat daddy. Have fun down there, being a boat on the water. You know where boats usually are. The next one, I actually do like the shape of this island. I think this island's pretty cool. If I were going to build, you know, a house anywhere in Wind Waker, it might be on this island, just at the very top. Because only you could get up here. You wouldn't have to deal with salesmen. You'd have an amazing view. It's, it'd be great. Ah, and back to the ship graveyard. Is this the other side? Could be. Ah, we got some sort of pot maze? Oh no. I'm not good with this type of maze. 
Also, there's floor masters to send you back and ruin your life. I'm gonna guess since you're guarding this pot, this one might actually be relevant. I'm going, only going to light one of these on fire at a time so that if I go to a dead end, uh, I can try the other pots and I know better. Okay, so this had treasure. A joy pendant. Yay. Can you tell how uh, joyful I am? Uh, do I want to jump down or do I want to take the pot back? This looks like actually a fairly complicated maze. Let's try jumping down. Can I? There we go. I'm guessing you guys just exist to, you know, ruin my day and throw pots at me. But if you go for pots, then you give me free reign on your bodies. And I'm okay with that. Alright, where's this pot go? Let's explore the open pot first. Okay, that just springs me up to itself. Alright. So... This pot, then? I actually was not expecting to have to solve a maze today. Actually, two mazes! Okay, this is the way out. Cool. That was a returned pot, or a wrong pot. I'm not sure which. But process of elimination says this is the way I want to go, unless there is one over here. Oh! I am all the way back at the beginning, okay. Right. Glad I checked. Oh man, two mazes in one episode. Aren't you guys lucky? You, you will enjoy this, I think. I'm pretty sure you won't. I'm not sure that I will. But, uh, you know. The things we do for Triforce power. You know, the thing that Link has to earn while Ganon and, and Zelda get theirs handed to them. Just gonna let you guys sit there and think about that. They got their power handed to them. Link has to go through hell. <laughs> Alright, this one's back at the beginning. Alright, so there's only one more barrel or one more pot to try. And if that one goes back to the beginning, then we can completely mark that over. It does mean we gotta deal with you again. And your buddies. You know what? No! I was gonna let you live and, and leave me alone, but, you know, you decided you wanted to grab me. And no means no. And my sword means no. Alright, so this is the one we haven't gone through yet. I haven't... You know, burn the top off of it. Let's try it out. Progress! We're somewhere new. Stop that. I do like this idea of burning one top at a time to experiment. Although, to be fair, I'm going to need magic at some point. Uh game? You wanna light it on fire? Probably could shoot an arrow through that torch, right? That would carry fire. If it's anything like other Zeldas, where that that's a thing. Nope, back at the beginning. Okay. Am I gonna have to start making a, a cut every time I go back to the beginning because I've gotta go in and out of pots to get back to where I was? Like, I have a feeling this is probably gonna get pretty tedious after a while, right? Uh, well, I tried one more pot and uh, then... I don't know. I don't want to keep doing this forever. But I also don't want an episode that's got a ton of cuts because I'm having to do this by trial and error. Because that is also disorienting in its own way. Link, you wanna lock on to the floor master before he sends you back to the beginning the hard way? Thank you. Hopefully the 
this is not too long. Well, all right. I know which pot we're going into when we get there. And then we'll see where we end up. I'm kind of curious where this one takes us. Let's, let's try this one. Just out of curiosity. Where does this one go? Um, okay, I know where I am. All right. That's good. We try that. That's a shortcut, essentially. Link locked on to the floor master. I do hope that this isn't much longer. Kind of feels like, you know, it should be wrapping up. Now uh, there is a chart, or a chest, I hope it's a chart, and no more pots. Open it. Well, it's a good one. It's not a little treasure, it's a big treasure of some sort. You got the ghost ship chart. Check your charts on the map screen to view it. Let's take a look at that. Beetle chart, treasure chart. Alright, we're going back the other way. Great fairy chart, octo chart, incredible chart, tingles chart, ghost ship chart. And that's basically how it works. It gives you uh, an outline of the islands and the phase of the moon for that island when the ghost ship appears. So, I think now that we have that, next time, I think we might go take on the ghost ship and see what that's all about. And I'll see you guys then. Thanks for coming out and watching today. As always, I do most appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and you want to watch more Wind Waker, subscribe because I upload it every weekday. If you enjoyed what you watched, make sure you let me know with that thumbs up. And if you have any hints, tips, or tricks, leave me a comment. Thanks for watching again, and you guys have a great day. Later.